There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain It's over here! Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane. Idiot. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. We're gonna do the circus, we're going this I'm here and ready to go to the world famous Cirque de Lune. Have a seat. We're going in a minute. Okay, we're going to the circus. We're going to the circus. Well, hold your horses, kids. It says here that the lead of Cirque de Lune has a severe allergy. They're canceling today's performance. Well, that's a bummer. If it's anything like Candace's parsnip allergy, whew, I don't blame him for not wanting to appear in public. She gets blotchy, red, weird voice thingy. Not good. Well, honey, looks like that frees you up to join me at the mall. Our trio is recording our first album today, live at the Squat and Stitch. Mm-mm, should be swinging. Cheer up, guys. I'm sure you'll have a fun day anyway. Bye, kids. Be good. Have fun. It must be so cool to be in the circus. Yeah. Hey, Ferb, let's put on our own cirque. This will be great. Ferb can set up the tent. I'll be the ringmaster. We can still up some arty costumes. Hey, poor trick. I can put my leg over my head. Ow. I'll work on it. Even Perry can have an act. The Amazing Perry. Oh, I have a mystical, magical act I would like to perform. It's stupefying. I have another act that'll bring the house down. Ferb, get the tools. Let's do this. <sighs> Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, gorgeous. Who oh, cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, Jeremy. What's going on? A circus? Can't they give me a break for one day? This looks great, Ferb. Hey, have you seen Perry? I put on his costume. Okay, Agent P. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is buying biomechanical equipment and <laughs> elocution tapes. We don't know why. Where, where are you going, Agent P? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't go. I'm, I'm not laughing at you. I just heard a funny joke earlier this morning. And please, please, Agent P, turn around so we can conclude our meeting. <laughs> Carl, 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 what's your email? Oh, I'm gonna send this to you. <laughs> hey, twerp, I brought the props for my act. Buford, what exactly is your act? I fly into mud with a paper bag on my head. Okay, then. The peeps are gonna love. Oh, I'm not even gonna call Mom. No, not gonna call. Candace, honey, listen. I can't talk. We're recording. Is it life or death? Well, no, I'm but... I'm gonna go. Bye. Mm. Hey, uh, Candace. Oh, hi, Jeremy. My mom told me to bring over these homegrown veggies for your family. You know, she and your mom are doing that jazz thing today. Thanks. So, circus, huh? Cool. Cool. I guess it's more of a cirque than a circus. <laughs> Good morning, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Don't you think? What? Don't you think we should sit together to watch the show? If if you want to. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, Candace, are you okay? Say, are there any wild parsnips in here? Uh, I think that's all that's in there. <coughs> Later. I'm dancing with your wife, pal. You got a problem with that? I'm dancing. <clears throat> I'm dancing with your wife, pal. You got a problem with that? <laughs> oh yes, that does sound tough. Yeah, I ate your last nectarine. You got a problem with that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Barry the platypus. Look, could could you just use the front door from now on? Could you just do that for me? I mean, <clears throat> yes, I ate your last nectarine. You got a problem with that? Sounds tough, huh? But not tough enough. You see, ever since I was a child, I had a high, squeaky voice. 
but not anymore. Behold, the voicinator! It biomechanically transforms normal air into dophelium, which will make everyone else's voice higher, making my voice deeper by comparison. I was going to lower my own voice, but you know, it seemed like too much trouble. Of course, it had to be wild parsnips. Allergy pills, allergy pills. Aha, quick, before my voice goes through the reaction. No! Hey, Jeremy, want to sit together at the show? No, no, Mindy can't sit with Jeremy. Gotta stop this, gotta tell mom. Can't go out looking like this. So, how about us sitting together? Excuse me. Oh, it's good, bro. Thanks, but I promised Candace. Moments away from Verb and the amazing Perry. Hey, Verb, you guys are up next. Where's Perry? Oh, there you are. And now for my final trick. I will reattach my thumb. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Come on, thumb. It's healing time. <laughs> Let's hear it for Baljeet the stupefying. But now, prepare to be astounded when the amazing semi-aquatic Perry, aided by Ferb, attempts to jump through that hoop into the shallow pond. Whoa. Yeah, let's hear it for the amazing semi-aquatic Perry! <laughs> Candice, have you been near the wild parsnips again? Yes, but you gotta see what Phineas and Ferb are doing. What is it now? Those boys are always up to something. And it's bringing me to tears, because just before you get home, it always just magically disappears. Those boys are evil. But before you get home, they somehow always clean up the mess. Testify, Candice, testify. Those boys are evil. Let me spell it out for your mom. E-V-I-L-B-O-Y-S. Built a roller coaster and a beach in the backyard. Drove cattle through the city and messed up the boulevard. They took me back in time when we went to that museum. They built 50 foot treehouse robots, but still you didn't see them. Those boys are evil. The crazy shenanigans caused me all kinds of distress. Those boys are evil. Sing it with me, E-V-I-L. B-O-I-S I know you think the saints But mom, I'm here to tell The B-O-I-S They're just E-V-I-L Those boys are evil They're making me feel like my head's in a hydraulic press And that don't feel too good Those boys are evil Everybody E-V-I-L B-O-I-S That's what I'm talking about Okay, Mom, so you gonna come home with me? Are you kidding, hon? Let's do another! Ah! Very the platypus, but you are too late! Wait! Wait, don't do that! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, I told you! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I said keep your hands off of that! Hey, I got my costume all set. Be sure to introduce me as the Amazing Bago. You know, we've been thinking about your act and have some suggestions. Modify your torque and reverse the angle of trajectory. I still get to land in the mud, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want the mud. Thank you, Django the Human Pretzel. Uh... That's gotta hurt. And now, our next act will catapult through the heavens and land in a pit filled with the mysterious Aztec Mud of Doom. Jeremy, 
Jeremy. Jeremy! He saved me a seat. I give you the amazing Bago! Ta-da! Hey! Guys, cut it out. Let go! That dude's stealing my act! Uh, uh. <laughs> hmm. He must have been lighter than we calculated. No, no, this is Buford's moment to shine. Hey, everybody, over here! Wait, how'd he get down there? And perhaps Buford truly is amazing. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, today, now this thing's broken. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you our entire cast in our grand finale, featuring the amazing Perry! Phineas, I thought you circled awesome. Rocks. You're the Phineas. coolest. That was the best well, circus Phineas, I've ever been awesome to, you, dude. <laughs> Hi, guys. Mom, Dad, you missed our circ. Well, it sure looks like you had fun. Who wants to hear my CD? Oh, I do. All right, come on. Cool. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, at least I'm back to normal. Hey, Candace. My mom played me some of their CD. Your singing is awesome. How'd you get your voice to sound like that? Oh, same as all the great blues singers. Wild parsnips. Shimmy Jimmy! He can climb up a tree and nothing flat. Grab a ride coconut and shimmy right back. He's a real wild monkey, he can swing and dance. You better watch what he's throwing, he ain't wearing no pants. Shimmy Jimmy! Shimmy Jimmy! Man, this monkey is the coolest toy around. <laughs> Shimmy Jimmy. Another gem from the Hardy Har Toy Makers. <laughs> there, you see? It sells itself. Shimmy Jimmy is our number one toy. I hope you are ready to face some customers, Candice. You can depend on me. Hi, Stacy. Yeah, it's so cool. The first day of my first job. And the best part is, Jeremy works right across the aisle. I could watch him make hot dogs all day. Any moment now, Jeremy will look over and notice how cute I look. Candace, you're not wearing your shimmy shimmy hat. Candace, is that you? Candace, look, you have your first customers. Oh, and don't forget to do the laugh. Go on. Welcome to the Hardy Hard Toy Store. Ha 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 ha. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. I'm just gonna leave the boys here to browse while I make some exchanges. Back in a bit, working girl. Can we hear the laugh again? Don't bug me, you insects. <clears throat> Candace. Let me introduce you boys to Shimmy Jimmy, the must-have toy of the century. It's totally awesome. Seems like that would get old real quick. Oh, like you geniuses can make a better toy. I know what we're doing today. Okay then, what we need is a toy so stupidly simple, so basically bland, so idiotically uncomplicated, that it can do absolutely anything. Hmm, say, where's Perry? What do you got? Ah, there you are, Agent P. We suspect that your nemesis, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, has been pilfering bricks from buildings across the tri-state area. Animals are rioting. Convicts are escaping from the zoo. It's chaos. You've got to stop him, Perry, before it all falls down. As you can see, our sales have plummeted. Kids just aren't interested in climby toys anymore. Yeah, yeah, but we've always made climby toys. I mean, who could forget Climbing Simon? But what about Ascendant Brendan? And then, of course, there's Ladder Man Larry. For that classic climby Jaime. Stop it! Ow! What we need is a fresh new toy. Greetings, movers and shakers. I'm Phineas, and that's for. And do we have a toy for you? Hold on there. Aren't you a bit young to be toy designers? Well, I don't think so. And now it's fresh, it's new, it's incredibly hip. Soon to be the biggest hit of the new toy season, Harry! The platypus. Uh, what does it do? That's the beauty part. It does absolutely nothing. 
Now it can be anything we want, like an airplane or a race car. Or maybe a fucking Bronco. <laughs> you can even turn a mean tango. Just a minute. We could promise the moon without really promising anything. Ooh, I love it. Uh, I Brilliant, love it job, I love JD. it even before I heard Are it. you all crazy? It's just a thick, stupid block of wood, and it doesn't do any... I love it. What are we talking about? Glad we're all on the same page. Phineas and Ferb, we're going to produce your toy that does nothing. I'll put both of you in charge and double your salaries. What do you say? Actually, we've never made a salary. Well, then I'll triple it. Here's the factory, boys. This is where it all happens. Wow. Somehow I never pictured a toy factory as being this boring. Time for a makeover. Boys, I got an angle on our new toy you are going to love. Perry, the atomic super platypus. He's just a platypus. Right, got it. Just a platypus. <laughs> You're gonna flip for this. Are you ready for the mad marauding marsupial of death? He's just a platypus. I don't get why we have to wear these silly outfits. I like it. It gives me purpose. Toy factory. How'd this chocolate river get here? Who the heck are you guys? We are the Badinkadings. You set us free when you remodeled the factory. We've been trapped in the basement for years, making foam peanuts and sipping the tabs off of plastic. We will now lay waste to the surface dwellers. Okay then. Carry on. This one is dynamite. Secret agent Perry the platypus, huh? Do you have anything else? Uh, no. No, no, I don't. Harry the platypus in action figure. It does nothing. That's it. <laughs> well, if it isn't Barry the Platypus, you've arrived precisely on cue. Allow me to explain. Voila! A precise one one hundred scale replica of the tri-state area! <laughs> You'd be surprised how much free time I have. Now, with all the bricks that I've uh, <laughs> collected, I'll construct the Great Wall of the Tri-State Area! Thereby cutting off the citizens from the rest of the world! <laughs> and how do people get in and out of the city, you ask? With this! Official Doofenshmirtz approved toll booth! I haven't really worked out a price point yet, but it won't be cheap, I can tell you that! I want the green one! Here you go, little angel. Yay! My own in action figure! Candace, come on out! You're kidding, right? Fantastic! You look like number one! I feel like number two. That's the spirit! Now, go out there and bring us some customers. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I am just so glad that Jeremy's on break. If he saw me in this thing, I think I'd plot. Excuse me, sir? Oh, Candace? Wow, in that outfit, I couldn't even tell you were a girl. Ha 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 ha. See you later, Candace. This isn't worth three fifty an hour. I'm here live with Phineas and Ferb, creators of the international toy phenomenon, Perry the Platypus in action figure. Exotic backgrounds not included. Simply amazing! What was your inspiration? Well, we have a pet platypus named Perry. Oh, hi, Candace. Nice suit. Now, as I was saying, he's a platypus. He doesn't do much. 
Oh, I should have known those two are behind this. Time to call mom. What is it, Candace? Okay, Candace, calm down. I'll come by and see you as soon as I'm done with the exchanges. Perry the platypus, how did you escape? Hmm, I probably should have used cement. Ah, no matter. You'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me, Perry the platypus. You couldn't stop me with a billion Perry the platypuses because I am unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I lost you, Perry the Platypus. I am free of you! So, did you see the game on Saturday? Yeah, real nail biter. Shoot! Shoot! Go away! Now that was just disturbing. So first, I think the sales projections are... Hey, people, I thought we agreed we weren't gonna do this. How many times do I have to say it? He's a platypus. They don't do anything. Curse you, Perry the Platypus! Wait, wait, where are we going? Is that seawater I smell? I hope I'm not on the boat, because I get seasick. So, how does everyone like my new suit? Excellent, Fantastic Taylor. suit. Have you lost oh, weight? Oh, you look really good. Really good. Really good. Um, that man isn't wearing any clothes. There you are, Phineas, and what's his name? Harry the Platypus is a smashing hit. So, what's your next big idea? We're going home. But, 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 but why? You're at the top of your game. You've got your whole career ahead of you. It's supper time. Mom's making fried chicken. But thanks for a great day. Oh, that's just great. Any of the rest of you geniuses have an idea? I found this in my office with a pile of shattered glass, JB. What's this, a brick? That's brilliant. Brick, 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 brick. It's fun. Now, who would buy a brick for a toy? It does absolutely nothing. Brick, 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 brick. It's fun. These brick toys are selling like pancakes. Candace, keep up the great work! One at a time. One at a time! You all get your bricks. Hey, Candace. The things they make us wear, huh? At least you don't have a weenie on your head. <sighs> she understands me. It's fun.